Where's that treasure? What's up, everybody? It's the Pirate Stacker coming at you. Today, it's Saturday. I hope you're all having a great weekend. I have a big day ahead of me. And uh, let's get some cheers out of the way. First off, uh, shout out to Big Guys 45s He's been watching my channel for a while. He has one, too. Feel free to check him out. It's all about vinyl and records and bands. It's pretty cool. Uh Next up, the Potter's Stacker. Big shout out to him. Sent me all kinds of swag and loot. That is super cool. Uh, we're going to get into that in just a second. And lastly, lastly, my pal Fish, the Furious Gah, Red Balls of Fury, is going on Monday. And uh, that's going to be really exciting. So get pumped about it. Because I am co-hosting it. Cheers to all of you guys. Mm. Yes, yes. All right, uh, Potter Stacker, let's jump in. Sent me an awesome letter. Great guy, good channel. Go check him out. I'll put a link in the description to his channel. And uh, he was nice enough to send me some... Coins, yeah, some awesome pieces in flips. Now, this is super cool. If you didn't know it, I'm getting into numismatic stuff. So, yes, I love that it's silver. He even sent me this little gram, and you can see it is a pirate. Awesome. <laughs> and uh, anyway, thank you to Potter's Stacker for that. That is awesome. Uh, Today, what are we talking about? We're going to talk about a topic that recently came up for me. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably know a little bit about it. And that topic is buying from people you do not know. Uh, we all know there are tons of scams going on in the community. Uh, I've been ripped off, you've probably been ripped off, you probably know somebody that's been ripped off, uh, our community is targeted because, well, there's money in it, there's money in it, so to lie to somebody about selling them something becomes a thing. Recently, I had a situation, now, I, I have had bad buys multiple times, I've been scammed multiple times. I currently, my most recent purchase, which did arrive, and I love, but my most recent purchase was from a gentleman on Instagram, and he did good on it. I got my purchase. Uh, this is Joker Coins. Thank you, Joker Coins. Joker.coins on Instagram. Uh, he came through. His pricing is good. His merchandise is great. His customer service sucked. However, it may not have even been his fault. Uh, you know, we had a transaction. I'll give you the quick story. I made a purchase two weeks ago, basically, and he was going to get me tracking, get it shipped. The whole week went by. I said, Friday comes around. I bought on the Monday. Hey, where's it at? Oh, I'll have it. I'll have it tracked ship tomorrow. Great. The next day rolls, comes and goes. End of the day. Hey, I'm in the hospital. Now, my own impatience and bad luck with this situation has probably jaded me a little because probably half the guys that have ripped me off have given me a medical reason. Literally, legit, I'm in the hospital. Those exact words have been spoken. Uh, at that point in time, I get a little bit of a red flag. Now, I had watched I had watched him sell stuff for a couple months before I actually bought from him. That gave me the comfort factor of like, hey, I don't see anybody posting about him, so he must be okay. Um in any case, I'm in the hospital. So that prompts the conversation and then a phone call. And, you know, I 
start voicing my concerns, he hung up on me. That was another red flag. Uh, at this point, I'm more than, I'm a little more than concerned, but I still had not demanded a refund because what if the guy is in the hospital? Um, so I hadn't even brought that up. Now he turns around, offers a refund after our phone call to which I immediately take him up. And, and for me, it was just as simple as. Let's alleviate this situation. I don't want to get into it any further with you. And if you truly are in the hospital and things have gone bad, I would rather cash out with the press of a button than, than I would wait around and see something go wrong. So that was purely what that was about. And, uh, you know, as soon as he offered the refund, I said, absolutely. Let's do that before anything else happens. And, uh, he immediately says no. And it was him that brought up the refund. So third red flag. At this point, I'm getting really concerned. And I'll tell you, one of the things that I have in common is on all of the ones I got scammed on, I felt like something was off. And I've, and I've always thought to myself, if I had it to do over again, uh, I should have listened to my gut. I should have listened to my gut. At this point in time, my gut's got all kinds of things pinging. It sucks. I don't like having to address that situation. But now, now I'm upset and I feel like they're, the only reason you would renege on something that you offer, or rescind the offer of a refund, which you can do with the press of a button, would be that you may not be legit. So I give him a rant. I tell him, hey, I'm going to this, I'm going to that, I'm going to I'm gonna expose you on Instagram if you don't pay. Well, he obviously reached out to somebody that was a mutual friend that was Nautical Stacker. Nautical hits me up, says, hey, bro, I've done a lot of deals with this guy. He's good. And so I go, okay, man, that's all right. And the guy swears Monday it'll ship. And nautical stacker was enough for me. His word, you know, I, I hit the guy back and I said, okay, go ahead and ship it Monday. I'll drop the whole refund thing. And he proceeded to go ahead and put, put up a post about being in the hospital, put up a, a post about with me in his conversation of me ranting about wanting the refund. But he didn't put up any of the information leading up to that wherein he's the one that offered the refund. And I feel like I was very cool up until that point. And at that point, I was just like, you offered it and you took it back. I don't trust it at all. And uh, so I put my story up. Look, I didn't blast the guy. I wish no ill will. Joker Coins, thank you for coming through on my purchase. I wish you all the best, best of health, all of the above. Uh, if you buy from him, fantastic. I won't in the future, but it's not, uh, you know, I, I got my merchandise. He's he's obviously not a bad guy. We just had a bad communication and uh, and it was more drama than I than I wanted for a simple purchase. Now, am I stoked? Yes, I'm stoked to get another tenth in my pile. Uh, I only share the story. I really have no ill will here. I wasn't trying to badmouth anybody. I literally just told my story on Instagram after he had posted about me, basically. And, uh, and, and that was it. So, uh, again, if you're watching, Joker Coins, thank you for my medals. I did post yesterday when I received them on Instagram as well and uh good luck to you my friend but for the rest of you red flags I, I mean if you've if you've been ripped off tell me about it if you've never had a bad transaction tell me about it what are you doing right so here's what i typically these are my tips for not getting ripped off i buy out of facebook groups you know, there's a ton of people that do good business and there's a lot of good groups and you can watch somebody have a load of good sales. And obviously seeing people sell over and over and over, that is a big plus 
because obviously they're doing something right, you would think. And, uh, you know, that's one of those things that that's probably the easiest way to get a heads up that, hey, this guy's all right. And so that's that's fantastic. If you know somebody, and this is one I didn't do. I, I should have looked. I've seen people I knew buy from him before. I should have just hit him up. I should have just hit him up and been like, hey, have you bought from so-and-so? Oh, yeah, he's a good dude. Oh, he's, sometimes he's slow at shipping. Okay, that's worth it. Like, I don't got an issue with that. I bought from people and they've said it's going to be a month. And I've been like, okay, it's a month. Uh, as long as I'm prepared for that scenario, cool. Um, three, nail down the parameters. Is this thing going out tomorrow? Is it going out in two days? You tell me before I put my money on the line. You know, what is, what is my expectation here? Set an expectation. Um, you know, and I, and I think those things will help for sure. Anyway, that's my story. Don't get scammed. Fishes, Red Balls of Fury Ga coming up Monday. I'm actually headed over there to film it with the guy. Uh, it's going to be incredible and tons of fun will be had. Anyway, that's it for today. Don't get scammed. Joker Coins, if you're watching, thank you. One-Eyed Willie out. Arg. <laughs>